Well, you've just seen the running of race number four and it has been won by number six in Dakar from the Lola Crawford Yard. And I can tell you the connections are absolutely delighted. I've got Taryn standing alongside me. They're very excited about this victory. Well done to the groom, Mochu. He receives 2,000 Rand on behalf of Gold Circle and Hollywood Bets. He's gone to see to his horse. Of course, this horse was ridden to victory by Richard Furie. Congratulations. This win was breathtaking. Thank you so much. It's been, we we're a bit concerned about bringing him back to the poly, but he seems to have really enjoyed it. He's holding his form really well. He's a completely different horse. He's really enjoying his work. He's eating his food. He's doing absolutely everything right, and we can't be happier. Well, it's a beautiful way to, to end the day. If I'm, that mis if I'm not mistaken, that was the last of your runners for today. Yeah, we've had three runners today for three checks. Can't complain about that. And Andaka really did us proud. Congratulations once again and enjoy the celebrations and I'm sure there's plenty more to come with the way this horse won. Thank you so much. I'd just like to say thank you to our sponsors, Hollywood. It's always lovely to have them in the yard. And thank you to the owners of Indarka who've given us the time to get him really right. A special thank you to my sister Haley, who does all the work riding on this horse and all the physio. She's really key in keeping him happy and well. And then another special mention to Dom Finnis, our farrier, who's been really integral in getting him ready for this race. Lovely stuff. Congratulations once again. Enjoy the celebrations and give your mom our regards. Thank you so much. And, oh, and thank you so much to Richie for the fantastic ride. Beautiful stuff. Let's get the winning rider into the number one box, Richard Furry. Of course, in Dhaka had the Richard Furry factor. You'll tell us more. If I'm not mistaken, Craig said that uh, he was getting a bit of a warm-up before the start. Yeah, look, he... He's a bit tight in his shoulders, and yes. I was told about it before the race, so I knew it was coming. Um, yeah, it went, went down a bit, uh, like I say, tight, but uh, it wasn't on sound. He just needed to m warm up those muscles. As you can see, he's a big burly horse, and yes. um, you know, he's quite a strong boy. And uh, uh, very simple instructions from the train, uh, from the owner, sorry, not the trainer. You know, I need to get cover. I need to not go wide and, you know, look for something in front. Don't go too fast. A lot of instructions. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. But um, yeah, very simple. Just uh, let him be wherever he's happy and surprisingly quick at those pains. Um, you know, obviously the one horse was a lot faster, but I just got there so quickly and you know, I could draw back. And then when we came to the straight, I think through the 300, I was probably the only guy still sitting on the bit. And when I asked him for uh, an effort, he was ready and waiting. So well done to the whole Crawford regime. Um, you know, they don't have many horses, but they sure can train a horse so well. And to them, to the owners for their support in the yard, um, and to my sponsors, they're winning form. Well, it was, ap it was an absolute brilliant ride from you, and it's another win to that tally. The countdown has begun. Yes, thank you very much. Lovely stuff there. Let's get some of the winning connections into the number one box. Are they coming through to have a chat? Come through, sir. You must be absolutely delighted with this victory because when push came to shove, he just pulled away from the field. Yeah, we're over the moon, Dwan. Um, everything is done after this first win, which was here at Gravel. It's yes. been an absolute bonus. Yes. He's, he was our first purchase. He's, our, he's been our cheapest purchase. Um, he's earned over 300 grand stakes. He's just taken us on a joy ride. He tries. I don't believe he was at his best today, which is even more encouraging given the way he's won. Plenty more to come. Oh, we'd like to think so from your lips to God's ears. But the girls, uh, the Crawford ladies have done a marvelous job. I know they've tried this, they've tried that. So we've given him the time. They've raised him shod in front, unshod behind, and they've just figured out a plan uh, for something that works for this guy. They found the right recipe. Yeah, and long may it continue. Um, up until this morning, Haley was still doing his physio. Yes. The farrier was in his box. We got the pictures. We got a little bit concerned. The way he went down to the start was quite, you know, a little bit nervy. we had our doubts. But if it goes down like that and comes back the way he did, I'll have that any day. <laughs> Lovely stuff once again. Congratulations to you and everybody involved and enjoy the celebrations. And I'm sure it's gonna go, not going to stop here. Yeah, sure. If I just, before I forget, um, his breeder, Mr. Plush, the McCardys, uh, Richard and the Crawford stable, his groom, Motso, thank you all very, very much.
Lovely stuff there, chatting to the winning connections of number six in Dhaka. Well done to Lola Crawford there. It's a big team effort and a top-class ride from jockey Richard Faree. Of course, this was bred by Mr. R. Plush and the owners, Messias C. C. Brits, J. T. E. D. B. T. Gellard and K. S. Storkey. Well done to all the winning connections of number six in Dhaka. Takes out race number four.